Hey guys, excuse all the powder. I was rushing to try to get the boys downstairs to make them a bottle and I just threw the powder on me. On me and it's like everywhere. But that's okay, because powder keeps you cool. And I'm really cool. It's like everywhere though. This is that's ridiculous. Like we all got it everywhere. Even Marley has it like everywhere. <laughs> everywhere on her and stuff. You see? She got it everywhere too. But today you guys my freaking microwave broke it broke my, right, my really? microwave broke i got a pimple on my cheek it, it's just been a terrible day i have been tired all day and like it was just horrible watch out for the stuff on the steps Yeah, we gotta clean your shoes off. I, I didn't know it was gonna be mud outside. Guys, today my sh my my shoes has gotten mud. <laughs> Look at that. So today yeah, we're gonna do good. some uh, some snow globes. Snow globes. This is called Totally Me. She got this for Christmas. Guys, we are going to open out right now. So, <gasps> wow! Guys, look at this. Yeah. yeah, this is like the inside of the snow globe. Yeah. You gotta show it so they can see it. Yeah, this is the inside. That's her brush. And then I got a brush on it. The brush on it too. So, my wait. wait. You can only use that paint, or yeah. Okay. You want That's you right. want to do the mermaid, Marley? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to paint her 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 tail feet. I'm gonna paint her tail purple. Yes. Mom, she looks like a girl.
Maddie, what's wrong? Yeah, it's okay. You can't paint this. This is for big girls and daddies. That's how nice it is. Mm. I'm just still kind of drying. Mm, that's the back of mine. And it's the front. Look at her dog. My favorite is Marley's. My girl is golden. She is super sane. Oh, so when mine was going to be. I don't even know where Marley's doll face is at. Okay. So this is the front of Marley. What's up with my baby? It's the front. That's the mermaid's face right there. And this is the back. Yo, when you really pay attention to detail out there, I'm not doing it. Sorry. My joint is lit. This is Jeremy's. You guys, I need you guys to vote and let us know whose piece is better. This is Jeremy's piece. And y'all took all the color. Jeremy's piece. And this mm -hmm. is the back. My I got piece. Flowers. I got, I, got, I got colors that ain't even in the palette. You ain't make no new colors. That, I mean, baby blue. I mean, lavender. Baby blue. I got baby. I made baby blue. You only made baby blue after you see me do it. This is a friend of mine. You seen me do baby it's blue, which made mine. you do baby blue. I gave you the motivation to do that. But it's okay. That's what you do. You motivate your people. You know what I'm Come on, we about to finish making them. Yours is dry. This is dry. And this is Marley's. Mm -hmm. I'm taking my top. And you turn your top, you turn it upside down like this. Mm-hmm. And you take your, whoever she is, and you place it in like this. Okay. Wait. No, wait, let me fix it. There we go. There we go. And then you take the bottom piece. No, 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 no. Keep it upside down. And you put your bottom piece on top. Yeah, I'm gonna get this thing. So while we just getting the rest of the pieces together to finish making the snow globes, um, I'm passing Marley and Jeremy the Ludo snaps at the bottom so you can snap the things shut at the bottom and then we're gonna put our glitter and our pieces of flakes instead of the snow globe. I, my pieces were the harder pieces to snap on. It was so hard. I had to have, I had to have Jeremy um, do it for me. It was really difficult for mine. I don't know why. Some things like happen like that. Some things that you get inside, like, you know, some things that you get, some of them are just a little bit harder than others. Um, this is one of Molly's Christmas gifts, as I said before. So this is basically like a, a fun thing that we did together as a family and also as a toy review this is really not a toy like i said for christmas we wanted to buy her some things that she can do like activities that she can do rather more than like rather than that than toys like because with the toys she'll play with them for one minute and then won't play with them again so um we're gonna fill up all of our globes and marley is actually the one who taught us how to put the stuff inside of the globes because i was trying to figure out if you do it by just putting it in and that's why i reopened up mine but marley put hers in at the top and then she showed me how to do it because i was trying to figure out how i was in there and as you can see i just realized it <laughs> no my baby's so smart yeah so she just learned by just doing it and the instructions didn't say how to put the stuff in on the box so that's why i assume that you put everything in um at the from by opening it back up yeah so 
also um, what I didn't like about this is that it didn't come with a lot of paint and it didn't come with a lot of the flakes and the glitter is so thick that when you shake it up all you see is the glitter like you really don't see anything else it's really hard to um, see the drawing all the painting that you did inside because the glitter takes up basically the whole thing Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it for snow globes and it's on to cupcakes because I really want some strawberry cupcakes today. I want some cupcakes too. Some chocolate cupcakes for me. I love chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Daddy got chocolate chip cookies so maybe yeah. you can make chocolate chip cookies. I want cookies. some cookies. So we're going to make cookies and cookies and cupcakes. I want cupcakes. Oh, be right back. Hey guys, it's cupcake time. So Marley's just washing her hands right now. And then we're gonna get all the stuff we need for the cupcakes. So first you need your uh, cake mix. And we're gonna use Strawberry Supreme Duncan Hines. I love it. And you need your frosting, and we're gonna use Duncan Hans vanilla. Yep. Um, we mm. have some cupcake liners. I love cupcakes. And we also need we need one cup of water, three large eggs, and one third cup of vegetable oil. Mom, 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 mom can I put the can I can I put the the eggs in? Yeah. Please. Right now, we do not use vegetable oil, so we have peanut oil. So that's what we're going to use for the cupcakes. Hopefully, it tastes just as good. Wait, don't open those yet. Hopefully, it tastes just as good. You can't stand on there because this is 12 feet. <laughs> it's probably going to fall, so let's try to put it. So right about now, we're just taking all the cupcake liners, placing them inside of the cupcake trays, and we're um, going to gather all of the, the rest of the ingredients, like the all you, the water, and the eggs. I'm sorry about the focus of my camera. It was totally, totally out. Like, I didn't have... Um, it balanced on anything properly so that's why it's horrible and you see just top, the top of Molly's face and my face and my boobs um but i couldn't reach my measuring cup so jeremy had to go get it for me and get it and um and my measuring cup didn't have one third so i was asking him um his guesstimate on what one third looks like you guys i do not like to bake i hate baking it's too time consuming it's too much with measurements i hate it so um but this is like a little fun activity that i like to do with marley i like to bake with her and she likes to help me out in the kitchen and cook with me so it gives me time to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with her without the boys um also she swears she knows everything you guys so she's trying to explain to me how to crack the eggs and how to put the stuff inside the mix inside of the bowl and she wants to mix the stuff um she's not really too keen on um the strawberry cupcakes so maybe i'll make her some chocolate cupcakes later or tomorrow whatever um also, uh, with these cupcakes, I like them extra warm, so I put them in a microwave, and you guys know my microwave broke, so I won't Mommy, be able to do the that. Microwave broke. Yes, the microwave broke. Also, no, you guys. So we need to get a new one. Yes. Also, you guys. Um, we put too much of the batter inside of the cupcake tray. So when we was checking on the cupcakes, they literally rose so high. They they rise above the um 
they are the pan. They were so high. So they were so big. They had muffin tops. It was hilarious, you guys. And um, Marley dropped the eggshell in the, in the mix, you guys, for her trying to crack it because she didn't want to listen to me. For tacos, you're gonna need chicken. This is chicken that I had from yesterday that I seasoned. It's gonna make fried chicken strips. You're gonna need your seasonings. I have adobo, seasoning salt, chicken seasoning, black pepper, garlic powder, and then I have sasson. Can't go nowhere without sasson. You're gonna need your taco mix. We use fajitas because it tastes so better with the chicken. And that's about old pasta. And then you need your tortilla bread. This is a large tortilla bread. Um, your main lettuce. This is triple cheese. We like cheese, you guys. You know that. And this is chicken that I'm about to cut and season and clean. A bowl. A frying pan to. A frying pan to fry the chicken, not fry it, but cook the chicken, and um, then a frying pan to toast the tortilla bread on each side and uh, fill it up with the good stuff. And also, I use butter to do the tortilla bread. Like I put the butter on a pan, let it sizzle a little bit, and then flip the bread and stuff like that inside of it. And right now I'm gonna get into cleaning my chicken, but you guys already know how to do that, so I'm not gonna show you a whole nother video of me doing that. And I'm going to make the tacos. I don't think I did a video of me making tacos. I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not sure. But I think I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna eat the bread, so I'm gonna just wrap my taco up inside of lettuce. I want. And I don't like, want no lettuce because I want I I I just want the bread. Yeah. So Marley's really picky. With certain things she doesn't eat bread. Like she has a hamburger, she would just eat the meat and the cheese. She eats the pickles off of it, but she won't eat the bread. She has a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, she eats the bread. She has a taco, she eats the bread. Oh. The Right. So this is how we're gonna start off. The, start off our um, chicken fajita. So I just diced the chicken up as small as possible. This is butter that you see right here, and I'm just waiting. I put the meat in first by accident. I'm just waiting for the butter to melt and the chicken to start cooking. Then I'm going to add my fajita mix. I have more chicken on the side. I think I'm just going to add it all. I'm going to add it all. And this is just like the excess water and vinegar that I have left over from the, the water that's in it. It's the excess water and vinegar that I have left over. And it's really orange because of the... The... Um, Sasson. Sasson. So, I'm gonna just let that cook down.
pancakes. I just took them out the oven. They are super duper big. I literally forgot that they were in the oven. That's why they're a little more charred on certain parts. But I'm gonna let them cool. And then I'm going to ice them. Uh, Jeremy and I are looking at um, vehicles for me to um, get. And I'm so against minivans, but I'm thinking about getting a minivan only for the simple fact that it's so much more convenient for my lifestyle with the kids. You know, we have like a huge, a huge, um, huge strollers and like you know, grocery shopping and you know, going to pick up things for the kids and for the house. It would just be so much more convenient. And even when we take our trips to New York or wherever we you know drive to and stuff, it's just more spacious. The kids be able to like have their breathing room and the boys are not going to be babies forever so they're going to be getting bigger you know they're going to be one years old this year so i'm going to need a lot of that you know a lot of that space and stuff like that so i just kind of i really don't want one i found a lot of vehicles that have three rows that's smaller than the minivan but then again it's still the whole simple fact of me you know having to get in and out the car and do all this kind of extra stuff you know with the kids and i kind of really wanted a um, chevy traverse and i think that's the kind of car i really really want it's still spacious in the inside as well but it's just the simple fact that the minivan is just so much more convenient so what do you guys think i'm really not like a car guru i don't even have my license yet but <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about getting, well, you know, about what kind of car I should get for the three of us. I mean, for the three kids, but the five of us. This is Marley. Come on. Taco. Right, right, 13. No, I work day shift. Okay, guys, remember, there yeah. to be bold, there to be different, there to be you. Yeah. Bowl. <laughs> I get off the Good night, guys.